Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I have literally covered thousands of RAG tools by now in the last two years. There have been many evolutions, iterations of many tools and now as we stand in 2025, RAG has evolved quite a lot. Things have become far more easier and now we have even GUI tools through which you can implement RAG. If you don't know what RAG is, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and in a simple words, it is a way to give large language models context around your own data. Because for example, these LLMs, though they have been trained on a humongous amount of data, have no clue about your personal information or your company's information. If you want to bring in artificial intelligence to your own company's data, for instance, you can use RAG to give the context of your own data to that LLM. And there are various processes around that, as I mentioned. This tool, which you are watching on your screen, Ragit is yet another tool to do RAG. The way this tool works, it works like a Git repository or a Git tool where you pick up a folder you add your own files to that folder, you initialize this ragged tool, and then just in a style of a git, it creates some metadata, it chunks that information, or in other words, it divides it into smaller pieces, it converts it into numerical representation, and then you can talk with your documents with the help of some models. Now, the thing is that this project is another example of how you can make things uh, complicated unnecessarily so we are going to install this tool locally and then we will see how it works another thing is that you cannot really use it with local models as far as i can see you can use it with hosted models default model they are using is grok but you can use it with openai's model and i think with anthropics model so i'm going to go with openai's model Another downside, which is a huge downside in my opinion, is that this project seems quite costly in terms of API cost and it takes long time to do even simple things. So, but other than that, the idea looks very cool. Uh, no full marks for the idea. I maybe early days for the project. So hopefully they are going to improve two things there. They should be making it easier to implement. Plus they should also, um, give support to some local models in order to avoid cost and again latency should be reduced as much as possible anyway let me show you how you can get it installed uh, if it takes long time i might not be able to complete it full but you will get the idea how it works and my main purpose is to show you uh, the best thing about this project which is the idea the way they have implemented so the way they have implemented, as I said, is quite interesting. So it is a Git-like software that turns your local file into sort of a knowledge base. And the main idea behind this is to make knowledge base easy to create and easy to share. Easy to create, I agree, but the rest of the part is not easy by any means. So another uh, side good thing about it is that it um, also adds a title and summary to every chunk and then so re-ranking the chunks becomes quite easier and it also supports markdown and multi-turn queries but very very early days of project let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works um, so contrary to few other projects this needs rust and cargo to be installed so let me first install that on my operating system which i'm running ubuntu 22.04 this has been sponsored by mast compute if you're also looking to rent a vm or cpu or gpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon of 50 percent so first up let's quickly install rust and cargo this is just one liner which uh, allows us to install so i'm just going to press enter here and it is going to install a rust and its package manager cargo shouldn't take too long it's quite fast and lightweight and that is installed let me set it in my profile and that is all done hopefully we should be able to see its version there you go so we have the latest version installed so once the cargo and rust is installed next let me clone the repo 
of this regret and i will drop the link to it in videos description that is also done and now we can install this regret with cargo it is going to create the create and update it and all that stuff that is a rust and cargo terminology so this is going to take a bit of a time so let's uh, meanwhile also the build failed but we will just let it run for now as you can see here okay now if that happens so you see it is uh, telling me that okay i'm targeting linux and if i just quickly go up i just need to set my open ssl and set these parameters so you see it cannot find this package so i need to install it so let me quickly do that first and i'm just going to install it with the sudo apt command the lib ssl dev and then i need to also install this package config and that is all done now let's again clean what we installed before and then install it again and this is going to take a bit of a time while that happens let's me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description and there you go this time it got installed fairly uh, nicely that's good and you can verify the installation by running this rag help here as you can see it is installed now let me take you to one of my directories so what i have done i have just created a directory in my local operating system with the name of my kb here i have just put it in two files fahad1.txt and fahad2.txt so they just contain a couple of one liner each i don't want to uh, make it long it still takes a bit of a time anyway so I just want to show you how this rag oh, it you know rag it works so i've just created this directory put it in two files both of files contain my own information now i am going to use it with openai so i will be setting up my openai's api key here in environment variable if you are using anthropic or grok just set your api key accordingly and for openai of course you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there that is a paid option and keep an eye on the cost please and they have also provided this command to set the model to gpt4 o mini i think that is what they support at the moment by default they use i believe the llama 70 billion from grok so let me run this and once that's done you can simply initialize the rag in it in the directory where you want to add the file so i'm just running rag in it here and you can see that it has been initialized now these are my files and it has initialized it and you can use this command to add all of the files to the knowledge base and then once they are added you can start the build process this is a process which takes a bit of a long time and you take again took a bit of a time but you can see that it has uh, completed because of my two files which were very very small thankfully and now you can start talking with it so for example i can ask it rag and then curie and then my curie is with fahad mirza there you go so it is telling me fahad mirza is an a youtuber who lives in sydney and these are the chunks so this is what i was referring to that the project looks really cool in terms of this idea of using it as a git and that is where i think this has a lot of promise but the way it um, uses these knowledge bases and takes longer time in terms of larger files uh, and especially the thing around the api based model is a bit of a i would say turn off but i'm more than sure that these are early days for the project and as it is going to progress through this will be uh, improved also if you want to check out what other models are available just do rag ls models and these are the models like uh, open ai and then all that stuff which provider they are supporting at the moment you can see that anthropic open ai command r plus from cohere and few others are supported so that's it um let me know what do you think about the project if you are going to use it or not if you are for which purpose 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching